Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number nine of the Dead Men Armageddon. We are starting this episode on 87,400 points as a rank 28. And the goal is to get a bunch of points. However, I'm starting to realize that maxing might not be on the menu, but I will still be working towards as many 99s as I can get and maybe even still work towards maxing. It just might be very hard to do this time around and it might not be the most point efficient. Anyways, no more yapping, let's start off with a farm run. Tier 75, and we now finish the hard Ardun task diary thingy as well by checking this tree. And here's 76, and that is 77 as well. That is 78 as well, and the last thing I wanna do is check if my mahogany trees are grown, because if they are grown, they should give a ton of XP. Okay, the moment of truth, they are all grown. Let's see the XP drop. 157,000 up to 79, up to 80. Finish it off with... Do we get another one? We don't. But damn, that is a lot of XP, we'll take it. And this is basically the rotation I have to do. I'm not doing regular trees because they're simply too expensive. So just fruit trees, calquat and mahogany trees. And I hope to be doing this all the way till 99. We'll see if it's doable. The next thing I want to do is finish off 99 crafting, a very useful 99 simply because of the perk of the cape. Here we go, a hard 99 to get simply because the amount of time it takes to get all the resources from the grand exchange. But we've gone and done it, we've persevered and there it is, a big 99 crafting. This allows me to buy a cape that teleports me directly next to the bank in dangerous areas. So basically if I'm ever schooling, picking, whatever it is, I can get myself this cape. For now, that is not a priority at all. Uh, but an option, an opportunity is there regardless, and that should give me a decent amount of points. I didn't check how much we had beforehand, but up to 87.8 thousand points. Beautiful. Now that the crafting is out of the way, I need to start thinking about smithing and mining. And the truth is, I don't want to really do this right now. However, it is absolute peak time. What do we do in the peak time? We do skilling simply because everything else is more or less not available. So I'm going to do some mining and smithing. So let's take a look at the gear we'll be using. Sigil of the Infernal Smith in order to have a chance to make bars, Enhanced Harvest in order to get three of the bars, hopefully, and then Remote Storage, it goes directly to the bank, I can just fill the inventory full of tanking supplies and we should be okay. I would like to do this with Prosperity, so we could get more Sigil drops, however, then I would need to drop one of the three out, and I don't think it would be very good. I'm not gonna do this for too long, but I'm just gonna be power mining iron, let's give it a shot. So here I wanted to talk about the main reason why I think maxing is much harder this time around. Even if you use Enhanced Harvest, you're only getting XP for one of the ores. And in the past that wasn't the case. You would get XP for everything you gathered. And I think that's a bit of a mistake because, sure, right now I'm getting 420k XP an hour. But in the past Deadman modes, I would be getting 1.2 mil XP an hour. That's a big difference. Same goes for smithing, as you can see. Very, very low XP per hour just from the Infernal Smith. So that is why we're gonna have to maybe adapt our plan a little bit, not actually go for max and just go for all the PVM bosses as a priority. We'll see though, there's still a lot left on the tournament, still like over a week, so I think a lot can be done. And that is 60 mining, I believe I can now enter the mining's guild, making it a little bit more chill, so I don't need to run around. 1775 total with 61 mining, meaning I can now start using a dragon pickaxe. And I'm getting 550k XP an hour approximately, which, uh, yeah, that would be a lot of hours for a 99, wouldn't it? Oi, 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 okay. We'll see, I'm gonna do it for a little bit more, and, uh, yeah, we'll decide the future in a bit. The next breach is in 2 hours and 20 minutes, so this is now the complete peak time, that's why I'm kinda doing other activities. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We'll be getting supply drops, first one, Karambuans and Bistros. Ladies, gentlemen, we just pulled a Sigil of Rampart. Your defense is increased by 100 for stab slash crush and range. That's actually really good defensive sigil. I don't know how much it goes for and I know for a fact I don't have it yet. Ooh, 13 mil! Ha! <laughs> okay, that's basically a scythe if I need a scythe. Okay, I didn't know that was so wanted. But I guess the defenses it gives is like really good. Okay, mining providing us with absolute bank better than if we did any sort of PVMing. Small update on the stats to go with this is 66 mining and all the way to 38 smithing. And we surpassed 88,000 points. We're actually getting decent points at the moment. I'm gonna stop once I reach 70 mining, but I just clicked view items lost on death and I realized that I have 676 steel bars. That can be turned into cannonballs. That is worth a lot of money. 
So if we do decide to obviously push mining, I do believe most of it will be done exactly on this spot. And it should in theory make us a ton of money as well, so not a bad spot. And there is big 70 mining. I'm gonna be stopping here and I'll give a giant mall a little bit of a dance. It's a fairly easy boss, but it's in multi and it's very easy to die while doing it. So we're just gonna try it. Uh, the breach is in one hour and a half, so I have a little bit of time. I will be using Sigil of the Gunslinger. This is one of the last Sigils. That's really good that I don't have. I do have a lot of money to spend though. So the last sell was for 6.5 mil. Let's just buy it for 7 mil. Overpay a little bit, no problem. Yeah, 6.9, we'll take it. Sigil of the Gunslinger obtained. Okay, so I will have to kill it in 4 hits somehow. Don't know how possible that will be with this gear. It's not gonna be possible. I need to hit max hit 4 times in a row. Okay, so I'll need to think of a different gear for this, maybe like a full Darox. Okay, 8, 8, 2, 11 before we get the first kill. And I'm just keeping my distance so I can instantly tab if something were to happen. Okay, so I got a bunch of tasks already and yeah, 200 points for this. Very nice. I need to get a looting bag though, honestly, if I want to do this more. Okay, I need to be smart. I don't think I want to overdo this, but I'll do a couple of kills. Okay, so the plan before the breach hits, I think, would be to get 25k C and kill them all 10 seconds after it resurfaces and then leave this for later when we have the diaries done. Honestly, I was thinking with all this running, I could just equip the Sigil of Lithness instead of Consistency and I'd be training Agility at the same time. If you're wondering what I'm actually using, it is Gunslinger, make it faster, meticulousness, make it more accurate, and then consistency. If I had aggression, I would probably use aggression here, uh, but I don't have that. I just realized I'm missing that as well. So another sigil we want is aggression. Hey, that should do it. Beautiful. There it is. Whack-a-mole. All right, Lithness is equipped. And now I'm not hitting those annoying ones. So in theory, if I got extremely lucky, I could hit a 50-50-50-50 and get the last task completed as well. It's not gonna happen, not with this range level, not with this range gear, but at least an option is there. And there is the giant mole and novice. So I actually think I'll stop here because the hard diaries are very completable, funnily enough. So let's go ahead and work on some diary requirements, I guess. Or maybe I'll do some more bosses. I don't know, let's figure it out. Breach in one hour. Time to do some questing in order to prepare for the diaries. Let's start off with the Doric quest. And that's the request completed. Best part about this deadman mode is no questing is really a waste of time, as every single quest gives you some points. Now, it's nothing crazy, but if you need to do quests anyways, and they give XP on top of that, for example, the Night Sword, it can be actually quite good. Oh! There was a PKer there. What is a PK? Bro. On Thurgo. There's no shot. <laughs> right, okay, let's do this a little bit later. This should be a very good XP drop. There it is, 127 smithing XP going from 44 to 55, nearly 56. So that will give us a ton of points. I always miss it because like, I don't see how much plus we get, but that is looking very good. Uh, let's see what the next quest on the list of things we gotta do. Okay, that should be the task that we did all of that for, perfect. There is level 50 fletching. Also, I've never done Witch's House this late into the tournament, but it has to be done for one of the future diaries. Okay, perfect. That is Witch's House also completed. We got no XP for it, unfortunately, but we've gotten a lot of fletching levels. We're now over 89,000 points. Due to how much we've been attacked lately, every single breach, it is time for me to take another step of precaution. So I'm still gonna take Meticulousness and I'm still gonna be using Sigil of Arcane Swiftness with Combination of Shadow. I think this is like a no-brainer, pretty good. However, the Sigil of Restoration, I'm tempted to swap it out for Sigil of Rampart because if we take a look at my defensive stats, which this is basically the best defensive stats I'm willing to take to the breach. I could substitute this with a Dragon Boots, for example, but it really doesn't get much better than this. And now, if I want to take this a step further and actually attune a Rampart Sigil, now this gives me 100 in Slash, Stab, and Crush, and Range, giving me ridiculous stat bonuses, but I need to prioritize praying magic a lot more. So... Void Waker is the biggest counter to my gear, so basically play Major lot. That might mean that I will tank a VLS hit here and there, but if I bring a combo food, I should be okay. And I might not even bring Overload, and I might not even bring a Looting Bag. Simply, completely strong on the defenses, and just focus on getting a hit in as often as possible to keep going for those points. I'm gonna try it out, we're gonna see how it feels. Okay, 
Combat training camp. That is uh, all right, but not my favorite. Oh, the other one's better again. I am going to hop. I think this one is probably on one of my favorite spots, I'd say. Okay. Ooh. Yes. We got a trinket and an emblem. Big damage on that one. Beautiful. Oh, that could be like 16 mil if we land on a scythe. That's amazing. Okay, starting at approximately 89,000 points. I always forget the checkpoints at the beginning. But we got another emblem. Another emblem. And another emblem. Got another emblem. There's so many emblems on the floor, but like... I mean, in theory, I could pick them up and then go to the bank. But I don't really need cash right now. And I got another emblem. Oh my god, we're getting good damage down. I will be banking soon, however. But so far we haven't gotten attacked yet this breach, which makes me able to deal a lot of damage. Okay, PK on me. Pray mage and run. That's the play. And they should miss a lot. And there's 95 defense purely through breaches on long-ranging uh, with shadow, which is very slow XP per hour. We'll take it though. Pick air on us again, I think. Play mage and run. I'll just quickly bank. Wait, did I reach the cap? I might have reached the point cap. 579. Ooh, we'll see. If I don't get any more points, I've reached the point cap for the breaches, which is actually something I've wanted to reach for a while. Basically, that means I can do other dangerous things during the breach which was kind of what I wanted to do. So let's say most of the population goes to the breach, I go solo Godwars, just as an idea. I'm gonna finish this breach, but I'm pretty sure I've dealt a bunch of damage and f oh, never mind, I'm still getting, I'm still getting points. I was trolling. I was gonna be like, it felt a bit early to reach a cap, but yeah, I do think I should probably be somewhat close. There is another emblem here. I'll pick it once I need to eat some food. That's it, that's the bridge done. Okay, wow, what a performance. I think this one was a lot better. I felt a lot more comfortable and with the defensive sigil It also felt worth it ending this one off on 91,188 as always, I'm gonna quickly log out and check my rank at the moment. With this breach out of the way, we're ranked 27, and we have a lot of easy options still available to get points. However, there is one more thing I've been very excited to do, because we finally pulled the trinket, and uh, these are extremely rare, and like scythe and things like that go for a lot of money, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look what we got right now. I could just straight up sell it, just a trinket version, so there is like gamblers that buy it and then they open it, but what's the fun in that? Let's Let's open it ourselves and hope for a scythe. I think scythe is the best and I don't know what else is good. We got a void waker. I'm thinking you lose money on the void waker, but regardless, I mean, we pull the void waker. You know, it's not bad. I'll leave it in the deposit box for now. And I do think we should return to questing and working on some diaries now. If you are enjoying today's episode, consider subscribing. All right, there we go. The glod is defeated. That should be pretty close to the quest being finished, I think. And there it is. This should be so much XP, by the way. What levels do we get? 81 farming. 79 agility. 63 thieving, 83 wood cutting. We will take that. Thank you very much. That should also be a ton of points, by the way. Very nice. 91.3. And this was just a requirement for Falador Diaries. So, very cool. Let's see how many of them we can actually complete. I think there's actually one more quest I need to do. Next one on the list, recruitment drive, and there's also red catchers we have to do. I don't want to do red catchers. Oh man, but if I do that, I can do pretty much every single thing on the diary list. Five minutes later, that's recruitment drive completed. A little bit of XP across the board, nothing too crazy. I guess we tackle on the red catchers next. I'm trying to do the red catchers quest, and it's sending me directly to the most dangerous multi part. But I gotta eat the agility while running, so at least that's something. Yeah, I just wanna see if I can do this without actually doing this quest. Visit the Port Serim Rat Pits. Because if I cannot do this quest, that would actually be phenomenal. This is such a long quest, especially with a non grown cat. Oh no, you see, it won't, it won't let me. Okay, so I have to complete a big part of the quest. Three hours it would take for the kitten to grow. Should we do other things for those three hours? I guess I can just try and do all the diary tasks and then have my kitten grow before I fully do this quest. Falador easy diaries are now completed. 
I'm just doing all sorts of diaries that I can because every single one you do gives you points. There we go. It is time to get the second best cape, which is crafting cape, which basically teleports me right here. What a beautiful cape. I just need to mine a gold door here and I'm basically just speedrunning as many tasks as I can. Even when I cannot complete it, I'm just doing all the fall other ones. I cannot do the scarecrow yet and I cannot do the red catchers part yet. I want to see if actually completing a tier also gets you any more points. So let's take a look. No, you don't. So basically, as you're completing him, you get all the points. We're going to be using most of the lamps on runecrafting for now, I think. So here's level 52 runecrafting. There is nothing quite as satisfying as training fletching this way and getting agility XP whilst questing. So basically, three different ways of getting more points. So there's level 70 fletching to go with it as well. And there it is, Dwarf Cannon completed. I'll probably be using that to finish off my 99 range and do some other activities at the same time. Okay, so this is what I'm actually really interested in. If I wear a skill cape and emote, so I'm on 91878. If I do emote, because that's an elite diary. Oh wait, that's a hard one, I guess. No, there it is. It's an elite diary, 878. See, like, that's so many points, so I should just try to do every diary I can, even when I can't complete the full diaries, and that should be one of our goals to work towards, because we get big XP lamps, I can then use that on the slow skills, such as runecrafting, it's just gonna go hand in hand, but it is extremely tedious to do. I think this is the best way for me to play this DMM when it's peak time, like right now, I do these tedious tasks that are gonna give me a ton of points, like making this random brew, and getting like a bunch of points to it, we're now on 92k, and basically, I'm just focusing from elite tasks down so I'm going the opposite direction making the hardest tasks first and then just I'll honestly do this for a lot of achievement diaries eventually we're gonna try and complete as many of these as we possibly can there's the lost tribe also completed a bit of binding xp and the ring of life perfect Carol this is where I'm stalled in multi so if anybody hits me here it's uh, it's over it's a wrap ah there we go wanted completed that's a very long quest and I needed that for eventually, I believe, killing black knights in order to... Well, basically, it's a diary step requirement, let's put it that way. Okay, there we go. We purchased a cannon. It was about time. I now need to get 1,300 black knights killed. So I'm going to utilize this moment to also train range. Okay, this is going to be my home for the next hour or so. Also, my cat is grown in 40 minutes, which is pretty good. It is pretty late at night and I'm kinda in the mood to do some solo god wars. The likelihood of dying is very big, but I only lose like, what, 2 mil if I die? So I think we can make it work. Ooh, ah, uh, okay, we got a Sara sword, that's okay. Ooh, ah, uh, <laughs> another god sword chart 2 from the boss, unlucky. Okay, my overload ran out, so I'm gonna teleport here. But I will get my KC, Avas, and I'll do another trip, I think, because that was pretty good. If you see someone log in, just tell me to tab, because I might be a bit sleep deprived. So this is like a private coaching session, right? Because like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you are raiding with a fucking noob, let me tell you. Like, By the way, I appreciate you taking time to do this with me. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I want more KC anyway, so I'm still getting completions doing this, so... I mean, if this goes well and I'm not a complete fucking clown, I'll get the amulet and I'll get a little bit better gear if you want to do more. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's insane money, by the way, this. It's like insane money. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I'm just kind of full saving, by the way. I don't yeah, know yeah, if that's fine. smart or not, but I'm literally This like is the room where you're going to use the most supplies. Okay, okay. Is this an so, okay spot to stand or do you want me somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, this, this is perfect. Nice. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Ah, uh, rip. Bad. I thought we would get like a CA or something for that. Oh, I got the uh, Runor. Let's go. Do you not get any CAs? No, zero. <laughs> like, don't put prayer, don't put Mage Prayer on now. Put it on as you after you click one, by the way. After you click like uh, through the crystal, because it turns that? off the prayer. It turns off the prayer oh, when okay, you do. Okay, okay, okay. So you gotta turn it on like while you're like loading out or whatever. Sounds good. Yeah. So turn it on now and then teleport. Yeah. PK is here. I got caught. Two PK um, by the way. Two PK Okay, I'm not going on. Oh, I got crazy escape. You good? I am good. Okay, I'm I got not out. going out then. Holy shit. Oh. I'm so glad you went out first then. Wait, yeah. how'd you get out? Did you get uh, a freeze I, me I, I Yeah, I froze and hugged the board. Nice. Yeah, I'm not going out then. I, I have to wait for uh, a scout then, I guess. Damn, that's crazy. I literally have not been hit, by the way, in like three days. 
Let's trace it now when there's a breach. Someone fucking comes there. That's crazy. Yeah, because I think it's like smarter though from them if you think about it. Yeah, I guess they're thinking like, oh, people are probably doing top now because, you know, the breach, you know, maybe that's what they're thinking. Mm. Okay, I need to quickly gear. You've been a legend. I appreciate you, yeah? I'm yeah, gonna yeah, do maybe. the breach and then I'm gonna do another breach and then I change. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice. All right, Thanks. Peace, man. Have, Have a good, good one. Bye, right, bye, bye, you bye. Too. Okay, quickly gearing up for the breach. It is 3 a.m. Okay, start of the points 93.7. Okay, pick airs on us. Focus on tanking. Okay, they drop me quickly. We bank, we go again. Okay, pick air on us. Okay, should be simple enough. Okay, and we are out again. And the breach is over because we obviously joined the breach very late. The next one is again in 45 minutes. We're up to 95,000 points, which is really good. The 4 a.m. breach is in 30 minutes, but I'm gonna quickly do a farm run. 82, and that's 83. Next breach is in 5 minutes, and I just got 80 fletching. Okay, breach is starting in a minute, no overload, and no looting bag, just going for points, going for damage. Starting on 95.1, South Fremenic. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Bang this, two more combo food, and let's go. Okay, so basically, I don't bring Mystic Switch, and I just tank to safety if I get hit. Okay, talk the talk is on us, let's see. Okay, now I can flick. He has no more Void Waker. Alright, good fight. So, I had combo food, so I was willing to tank VLS specs. Okay, look, I can pick up Mystics from the floor. Okay, Ili up on us. Let's see how we tank. Double bolt proc for him. Restore up. Call that insta freeze. Good flick. Pot. Pot. Yeah, this rampart is really OP. I mean, they're teaching me how to pray, but that's the whole point. We are playing with Rampart, so I'm playing correctly. They just don't know. Okay, we got a lot of damage done. Let's see. Tier 5. I'm not gonna go over there for that. Oh, I will never hit this, will I? But if I kite it out here, I could have it all to myself. No! Okay, we'll deal some damage to this. Even though my range is shit. Another emblem. This is easily becoming one of my favorite breaches to play. Good luck me. Oh, nothing in that one, damn. Come on. Ah, tier 5. That should be the breach completed, but maybe we can find like one more mob. I mean, nice drop for, for the end. That was a really good 4am breach, to be honest. After this breach, we are now right behind Bodhi, 100 points behind, but most importantly, we are now a front page Deadman mode player. And not only that, our overall, we are ranked 21 as well, so looking very good. Finally a solid breach, I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep and I'll be right back for the next breach. Breach is starting in 2 minutes, I had a very good sleep and we're starting on 97,500 points. Let's see how many points we get in this one. Northwest of Catherby. Okay, that is a really good spot. So for this one I definitely don't need mystics. 
But yeah, this is one of the safest locations and it's the first time it came around, for me at least. Okay, be care on us. Let's see how we tank this one. Don't really see what I'm getting hit by. Convoy to there. One more brew. Restore. Brew. Brew. Now he's gonna go for freeze. I restore. Entity on, so I can see what I'm getting hit by. He's bolting. Flick the bolt. He's maging. No problem. Flick the range. Brew. Brew. Combo it. Brew. Restore for the freeze. Restore again for magic defense. And say good fight. Nice, good tank. No chances whatsoever. Let's gear up, go again. We got an emblem. Got another emblem on the floor, but I need to be careful what I'm picking up. We're getting decent damage in this breach for sure. Even though most monsters we can only hit like once or twice, because there's so many people, we have not been attacked that much. Okay, we're attacked. Let's uh, work on a tank here. Brew. And he already dropped me. The Rampart Sigil is so good, I can just camp Mage Prey. Another emblem. PK on us again. Let's tank. Here, I'll even do some damage on the swarms in the meantime. I think he dropped me. No, he's still on me. Okay, let's tank again. Okay, he dropped me now, I can come back. Got another emblem, two emblems on the floor, just chilling. Okay, and that's the bridge done. Another successful one without the deaths, we'll take it. We are gonna be ending today's episode on 99,796 points, so close to 100k. We are currently ranked 28, we reached 25 before sleep, we went to sleep for 7 hours, we are now ranked 28. That is perfectly fine because now I'm ready to keep on grinding points. As always, I really do appreciate you guys watching all the way until the end. If you made it this far, go ahead and please check if you're subscribed. We're almost at 110,000 subs, you can be the difference of us reaching it this deadman mode. Thank you once again, I'll see you tomorrow with another video.